Example, find y prime or f prime of x for each of the following functions from first principle. So the first function is f of x equal to 3x plus 2. So i, the function here is f of x equal to 3x plus 2. Of course, 3x plus 2 is just a straight line because this equation is already in the form mx plus b the slope intercept form so we can see from here that the slope of this straight line is 3 from here directly and that the intercept is 2 so we want to verify that that the slope is actually 3 by applying first principle so what do we need from first principle we need f of x plus a change in x and that's all so f of x is 3x plus 2 then f of x plus a change in x would be 3 into, this is x, so x will now experience a change in x. So that becomes x plus change in x. Plus what? Plus 2. We now come back to the, our, our formula and substitute the values. So we have that f prime of x is equal to the limit as change in x tends to 0 of f of x plus change in x is this, is 3 into x plus change in x plus 2 minus f of x minus f of x is 3x plus 2 is 3x plus 2 divided by what a change in x so if we tie it up one more time we have limit as change in x tends to 0 into we open up the bracket we have 3 times x is 3x plus 3 times change in x plus 2 minus 3x minus 2 divided by what a change in x from here common terms can cancel 3x will cancel minus 3x and of course 2 will also cancel negative 2 and what do we have left and we have that this becomes the limit as change in x tends to 0 of 3 change in x 3 change in x divide by what a change in x so again here change in x will cancel change in x and what do we have left we have that f prime of x is equal to what the limit as change in x tends to zero of what of three and this is just a constant so the limit of a constant is what is a constant so what have we done using by first principle we have shown that f prime of x is equal to 3. In other words, we have shown that for this curve or for this line 3x plus 2, we have just shown from first principle that the slope of the line is 3, which was even obvious from the equation of the straight line. What we had said earlier is this. Now, after using the first principle, the, the value we have here is just a constant and has no variable. So this tells us already that the equation we had, we had dealt with earlier is nothing but what? The equation of a straight line. What this means further is that on this straight line, every point, let's assume this is a straight line I'm talking about, 3x plus 2. What we are saying is that at every point on this straight line, if you calculate the slope of such point, the slope will be nothing but what? But 3. So what we have done is what we call differentiation from first principle for the second problem we have f of x equal to x squared plus 7 we want to differentiate this from first principle or by first principle so what do we need we have f of x as x squared plus 7 the next thing we need is f of x plus a change in x and that gives us x plus a change in x all squared since x is squared here plus what plus 7 our f prime of x from first principle is equal to what? The limit as change in x tends to 0 of f of x plus a change in x minus f of x divided by what? A change in x. So we now plug in the values into the function. So this gives us the limit as change in x tends to 0 of f of x plus change in x is this is x plus 
change in x all squared plus 7 minus f of x f of x is x squared plus 7 x squared plus 7 divide by what a change in x so we'll now simplify that very carefully so this will give us the limit as change in x tends to 0 of if we expand this it gives us x squared plus 2x change in x plus change in x all squared plus 7 minus we open the bracket so this is minus x squared minus 7 divide by what a change in x once again we get that x squared minus x squared is gone we now see again that 7 minus 7 also is 0. So, this gives us the limit as change in x tends to 0 of what is left. 2x change in x, 2x change in x, plus change in x all squared. Divide by what? A change in x. Of course, we can split this fraction as limit. The x changes to 0 of the first part is 2x change in x over change in x. And the second part is change in x all squared divided by what? A change in x. And from this, change in x will cancel change in x here. And there are two of change in x here. So one of them will be knocked off. And then what will be left? We'll have the limit as change in x tends to 0 of what? What is left here is 2x plus there's a change in x that is left here. So at this point, we now introduce the limit. Limit as change in x tends to zero. So we put in this limit value directly. And this will give us what? This will give us 2x plus. Change in x tends to zero. So we replace this with zero. And what do we have? Equal to what? 2x. So what does this mean? It means that for the curve, y squared plus seven, the slope of any point on that curve is nothing but what? 2x. So imagine the curve is something like this or like whatever it is. So at any point on the curve which will require its slope, we simply come into this slope function and substitute the value of x. For example, if we require the slope at the point x equal to 1, then the slope will now be 2 times 1, which is what? 2. If we require the slope of this curve at the point x equal to 3, the slope will be what? 2 times 3, which is equal to what? 6. You observe that for this curve, at every point on the curve, the slope of that of the point is what? Is distinct. As our last example, we consider the function f of x equal to 3 over x. We want to again differentiate this function from first principle. So, f of x plus a change in x is equal to 3 over x plus what a change in x so the differentiation f prime or derivative f prime of x is equal to what the limit as change in x tends to zero of f of x plus a change in x minus what f of x divided by what a change in x we call it the, the, the derivative of what f of x so if we plug in our values what do we have limit as the x tends to 0 of f of x for change in x is what? Is this is 3 over x plus a change in x minus f of x is what? 3 over x. 3 over x. So I can take the x out and that becomes 1 times 1 over what? A change in x. To enable us to study up this bracket properly. Now if we take the LCM of the terms in the bracket, what do we have? Limit as the x tends to 0 of the LCM here is what? The LCM is x into x plus what? A change in x. So if this divides this, this and this will cancel. And what is left? 3x is left. And if this divides this, what is left? Minus 3 into x plus what? A change in x times 1 over change in x. So if we open up the bracket inside, what do we have? We have limit as change in x tends to 0 of 3x minus, minus 3 times x is minus 
3x minus 3 change in x. Divide by what? x into x plus a change in x. Times what? Times 1 over what? Change in x. We see again here that 3x minus 3x is gone. And what we have is limit as change in x tends to 0 of minus 3 change in x. Divide by x into x plus what? Change in x. Times 1 over change in x. At this point again, we see that change in x down here will knock off the change in x up. And what do we have left? We have that the limit as change in x tends to 0 of negative 3 over x into x plus a change in x. At this point, we put in our limiting value. As the x tends to 0, this term tends to 0. And what we have left is minus 3 over x into x plus this term tends down to 0. And that gives us minus 3 over x times x is x squared. Therefore, the derivative f prime of x of the function given to us is negative 3 over x squared. Of course, which by indices we can write as minus 3x raised to the power what? minus 2. What does this mean again? This means that for the, for this, for the function given to us as 3 over x, the, 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 the derivative of that function, which means the slope of that function at any point along the curve or along the function is what? Minus 3x to the power minus 2. So if you are interested to know the slope along this curve at the point x equal to 1, you simply plug in the value of x as 1. If you want to know the value of the, the slope at any other point, you simply plug in the value at this point. So what we have done so far is a demonstration of how the first principle can be applied to get the derivative of certain functions.